Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models and today we are reviewing Westland Wessex UH5 from a Telerian 48 scale. This is not a repack, it's a brand new tooling from a Teleri issued in 2012. The kit is wrapped in a typical Atelieri box, the only difference with the boxes from the not so distant past is this is opening from the top. The other thing new for Atelieri is that they put a photo -a sheet inside. One spilled the helicopter is 36 cm long and this is not bad for 48 scale bird. We have four different versions including Falklands War from 1982. The kit itself is an anniversary one, 30th year from Falklands War. The instruction sheets start with the description of the spruce and what we have inside of the box. First thing we have to assemble as you might expect is the cockpit. It is pretty sparse and there are photo etch sets from Edward for improving the interior and the exterior of that kit. The main body is assembled from two halves, nothing too complex. The deck of the cockpit can be made in photo etch that Italer provided. Next is the nose part, the exhaust, the wheel struts, the wheel themselves too. The whole assembly is completed in 13 steps, which is quite fast for a 21st century kit. Although black and white, the painting description is pretty thorough and self-explanatory. There is a technical markings guide and then for different camouflages. Of course the first one is from Falklands in 1982 single tone camouflage. Next comes two tone camouflage from 1987 Cyprus. Then one in bright red and blue grey from 1987 in Kildrose. Last there is another two tone camouflage from 1982 from Farnborough. As I said the sprues are pretty sparse but they have very nice detail. The rivets are there, the panel lines are there. The only letdown is that they are a bit shallow for the scale. There is some flash on the two halves of the body. However, nothing serious, nothing too complex. The interior parts have some nice corrugation. The dashboard is molded nicely, but it has a photo edge substitute included. Again here the rivets and the panel lines are a bit shallow. Other thing I have to note is that the rotor cannot be folded as you get it from the kit. And if you want to fold it you gotta get an aftermarket set which is available. There are two sprues with the blades of the rotor and the wheels, also the exhaust is there. They are not overly detailed, but with some nice paint and weathering they will look nice in the end. It's not the exact 21st century scale model kit we have in here, but it's decent. The transparent parts are clear, but mine were not protected enough and I had some scratches over them. There are many windows here, so masking will be necessary. Unfortunately, there are nothing that Italeri can brag about. Photo etch sheet on the other hand is very nice. There is a mesh that can be exchanged for Edward exterior photo etch set. But if you do not want to super detail your chopper, it the Larry sheet will do the job for you. Nickel sheet is not cartograph, but it seems well detailed and thin enough. I haven't tested those decals yet and I'm not sure how they will work, but I believe that the Larry have done the job properly. Pretty much that's it with the Wessex UH-5 from Italeri. This is first of the series of their Wessex helicopters. It is nice for the money, it's nothing special. If you want to super detail it, you gotta spend some more money over it. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you like it and see you in the next one.